hey y'all welcome back to my channel so today i will be doing a cute hairstyle on my daughter so this will be a bantu knot mohawk hairstyle this will be a protective style so yeah let's go ahead and get right into it so i started off with parting this side of her hair i'm going to be using kaleidoscope miracle edges and i'm applying that on her part and i am using that to actually help clean up her part because you know we want us a neat look so you want to get it to where there are three parts. So as you see here, I got three little parts and yay, yay. <laughs> I'm being a mom over here, y'all. So anyway, so I after I part that, I'm going to actually part diagonally going like at the start of her ear, kind of like at an angle. So I am twisting this part to get it out of the way. And then after that, I'm going to go um, in the middle part of her hair and I'm going to start braiding it because you want to set your foundation. I just find it easier parting her hair off first to how I want to style it and then proceed with the style. It just makes it a little more easier for me. So again, I already parted and then now I am braiding her hair, nothing in particular. If you don't know how to cornrow or braid, you can also do like little flat twists as well. So I just like to braid because I feel like the braids do last more longer. And this style actually lasted for quite a long time. I'll say two weeks. I love the fact that it lasted for a minute because like who wants to do hair all the time? Like at least, you know, especially for kids. Like, you know, when they go to school, they come home, their hair be messed up. So I find that braiding their hair down, you know, doing some type of a cute protective style actually helps throughout their school day so they don't have to come home looking all you know crazy but anyway so it did take me a minute to actually learn how to cornrow so i'm actually glad that i am having it down pat like i know what i'm doing now so the kaleidoscope miracle um edges actually helped me with my parting and the uh you know holding her hair down so that way it won't have a lot of frizz so just make sure that you have a good you know holding gel or edge you know something that actually is going to tame them freezes you know and yeah you should be good to go so i'm just repeating the same step just cornrowing her hair so i'm going this direction here you could choose whatever pattern you want to do i just decided to do it this way so yeah <laughs> So now that I braided the all of the hair up on the sides, I am going to connect all of her braids by doing like one cornrow going down all the way down to the end. And I'm really going to just re repeat the same steps on the other side as well. <laughs> So this is how it should look with both sides so now i'm going to go ahead and move on towards the middle of her hair so this is where you're going to create your bantu knot so i'm just applying some more miracle edges right here to lay her hair down after that i'm just going to be applying a rubber band to help secure it you don't have to do a rubber band but i like the rubber band because it makes the look more neater and it put together so after i do that i am going to braid this right here and then after I braid it, I'm just going to form a bantu knot. So to secure her bantu knot, I will be using a rubber band. And then after I blew that, this is how the hair looked. So we're going to go ahead and apply the accessories. I love beads. So we're putting some beads on the end of her braid. And then after the beads, we're going to put some gold hair clips. We're going to also put Kaleido Kids Miracle Drops on her hair. And yeah, as you can see, the look is already complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment box below if you rock it or if you let your child rock it. If you do, I would love to see some pictures. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Love y'all. Bye. Thank you.